If you want to learn the history of a country, listen to its songs. In the songs, they have knitted their history, worries, and sorrows. The Albanian is a polyphony declared masterpiece of the oral heritage of mankind by UNESCO on November 25, 2005, is a special part of Himara and Albanian culture. The song of the soul transmitted by the inhabitants since the time of war in daily life and family, cultural and artistic events. This great spiritual resource of Himara is initially portrayed by Neto Muka and Koto Zakali. The first records were recorded in Paris in 1929 with the combination of the sounds of Neto Muka's polyphony and the classical music of Tefta Tashko. Then the other records were recorded in 1933. The history of Himara's polyphonic song would then be enriched with the creation of the new band in 1949-1950 with Dimitar Varfi as leader of Himara polyphonic group, other names like Andrea Bala, Panayot Kukaveshi, Lefter Chipa, etc. have fueled the love for Himara songs. These events are followed by Mrs. Katina Beileri, who nostalgically remembers climbing the stage at a young age at the Rocastra Festival. A collaboration took place in Paris, where all the creations of Kocho, Necho and the whole group he had created were recorded. Based on these songs, the whole history of the Himara polyphonic song continued. In general, Himara and its residents have sung about life and love. A characteristic feature of the polyphony is the third voice, or throwing, or the song, where each song has its own melody and uniqueness. Other name that has given life to polyphony with its verses is Lefter Chipa, honored in 2020 with the title Honor of the Nation for thousands of polyphonic verses and poems, he has gifted not only Himara, but all of Albania. Himara polyphony has a larger world than the polyphony as other parts of Albania. Why? Because in the polyphony you can distinguish a very old type of versification. In Himara and Pilur, you will often meet Mr. Christo Chipa, leader of polyphonic group Beke Bart, who conveys to us the emotions and appreciation for his work. The Baker Bard Folk Ensemble has about 100 new songs, while it also interprets old songs. This group became contemporary by introducing a new element of the song. One of the main topics is immigration, historical topics, lyrical topics that are discussed and associated with a group of children, with school students. Introducing as a new element of the old rights are not to be lost. Mrs. Kaitena Beileri, international polyphonic icon of Himara, invites you through her verses to visit and enjoy the beauties of Himara. As the poet Lefto Chipa says, Himara, beautiful Himara, steep mountain, even below the wave, with the Himara polyphonic songs of Nasebeni, who is the flower of the Vilayet, that the whole world loves, Himara on the seashore, contemplating the fields. <laughs> 